Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with another Genesis Tips and Tricks video. Today I'll be teaching you how to fast reload some of the weapons in Halo 4. And I want to start out by saying that you can go into the directory of this video and jump to a specific weapon to learn how to fast reload it quickly if you know how to fast reload already some of the weapons. But I would recommend watching the video from the beginning so you can understand how this process works and how exactly you know when to fast reload and how to do it. So, first I'm going to start off by picking up a railgun from the wall over here. So now that I have a railgun, I'm going to teach you how to fast reload it. It's very simple to start with the railgun and best, because you only have one bullet per clip in the railgun. In other words, you're expounding the entire clip every time you fire the railgun. So it's easier to teach it fast reloading. It's easier to start with that weapon when you're trying to teach people this. So. What we're going to do is you're going to watch a normal reload animation. This is a normal firing and reload. And notice how you cock um, the metallic piece back onto the top of the bolt that you just shoved into your railgun. That's the part we're going to be canceling. Here's a canceled fast reload. Okay. Notice how I didn't cock the metallic piece. It saved me about 0.5 seconds or so. So how do you do that? Well, it's very simple, and you may already be catching on to what I'm doing. All I'm doing is double tapping Y very quickly, more quickly than what I just did. Okay, this is a very slow tap of Y um, to change my weapon back and forth. This is a very fast tap. Okay, it just looks like I'm re-coming up with the same weapon I'm holding in my hand very quickly. Okay, and you may have seen people do this in montages with a sniper rifle all the time. Like after zooming, they do this, you know? and do that. That's what they're doing, is they're fast reloading or warming up and getting ready to fast reload, okay? So again, with the railgun, you fire it, and you place the bullet, double tap Y, and there you go. Now, when exactly do you double tap Y? I need you to pay very close attention to the top right-hand corner of the screen because that's what you beginners are going to be looking at. You want to specifically be looking not at the little railgun blue holographic symbol or even the one right next to the railgun you're going to be wanting to look at the ammo in my current clip the actual um, rectangular bolt there directly below the railgun notice how it glows or pulses red when it's not in my railgun in other words right after i fired it here notice how it pulses red then as soon as i place the bolt back into the railgun literally as soon as the bolt is inside the railgun it glows blue again. What, as soon as it glows blue, that is when you double tap Y. As soon as your ammo is back into your weapon, you double tap Y. Again, double Y, there you go, okay? This is true with all weapons that you can fast reload, okay? It goes across all weapons, and the only weapons that you can fast reload are some of the UNSC or human weapons. The Covenant or Promethean weapons cannot be fast reloaded in Halo 4. I've tried it with every single one of them. Going over to the sniper rifle, let's get this and teach you how to fast reload it. So coming over here, this is probably one of the most well-known weapons to fast reload, but the reason why I didn't start with this weapon is because it requires a little bit more explanation. When you fire a partial amount of the sniper rifle's clip, the clip has four bullets, when you fire only a partial amount of it, one, two, or three bullets, like this. I'm going to fire three bullets just for this example. Notice how it's only a part of my clip, and I'm going to reload. It's a very quick reload for a partial reload of a partial clip of the sniper rifle. It's a very quick reload, taking the clip out, putting it straight back in, very quick. Okay, No need to double tap to fast reload that. However, if you expound the entire clip of all four bullets, notice how the animation is extended because you actually have to cock back the bolt on the left side of the sniper rifle, very similar to the railgun, where you have to do a similar thing where you actually have to push back the metallic thing on the top back onto your railgun. So I'm going to show you a fast reload of the sniper rifle right here, waiting till the blue ammo comes back on the top right hand corner, and boom, fast reload, okay? You can even almost double tap Y like a 0.2 seconds before the blue comes back in the top right hand corner. But again, this is something you need to just experiment with in your own custom games. Now from here on out, I would like to warn you, the rest of the UNSC weapons that you can fast reload 
degrade in usefulness in terms of actually using the fast reload in matchmaking. I'll show you the next most useful weapon to fast reload, and that would be um, probably be the saw here. Um, but we have to realize with the saw, it does not take longer to reload the weapon if you fully used up the clip, like it does with the sniper rifle. You actually have the same reload animation regardless of how much ammo you're refilling your saw with. Here is the reload animation, the normal reload animation for every single reload on the saw. Obviously I'm not using dexterity, so that would be different. This is a normal reload. Now I want you to notice how I sort of flip the little round um, clip there. I sort of flip that. That's what we're going to be canceling with our fast reload. As soon as I see the ammo come back up, double tap Y, and it cancels the rest of the animation. The same thing can be done on the, uh, the battle rifle, um, the assault rifle as well. I'll show you that as well. Notice how just using a partial amount of ammunition, a very, very fast reload, but if I use up the entire clip, it's a longer reload, and I actually have to recock the bolt on the right-hand side, or I'm sorry, the left-hand side of the assault rifle there. Now I want to show, show you a fast reload. Wait till the bullets come back to low blue, double tap. Very easy. Switching over to my battle rifle. This is a normal partial reload of the battle rifle, just partially reloading it. Now I'm going to use up the entire clip. And you're starting to get the drift probably here. Notice how the, I just recocked the bolt. That's the same thing with the DMR um, and several other weapons, including even um, the sticky debt, you actually, um, it's not a bolt recocking, it's just a twisting of the little bolt at the end there. Um, but you get the drift. I'll, I'll leave you for those for you to experiment with. But basically, um, you can do the same thing with the battle rifle as well. You can fully expound the clip and waiting for the blue to come back in your ammunition, you just double tap Y and there you go. So guys, I hope this explained how to do the reload animation glitch with these weapons. I'll actually go ahead and show you um, the sticky debt, um, just for um, uh, giggles here, I'll shoot it, and then you can see how this is a normal reload animation, I have to twist a little bolt on the side, um, but if I do this, and double tap Y, you see how it's a slightly faster reload. Not as useful on the, the those weapons, but um, once again, um, the weapons you can successfully quick reload with, sniper rifle, the pistol, although it's I would never fast reload the pistol, there's no point. Um, it's it's so little time you save. The battle rifle, the DMR, the assault rifle, the saw a little bit, even though it doesn't function necessarily the same as the sniper rifle clip does, and you have the sticky dead and railgun, obviously. The rest of the UNSC weapons don't really have a fast reload time. And like I said, the other Covenant and Forerunner weapons cannot be fast reloaded. So I hope this gives you a very in-depth overview of how to fast reload your weapon. The last point I want to make here is that if you watch a Halo Reach, Halo 3, or Halo 4 montage where someone is getting above an overkill with only a sniper rifle, okay, you'll probably see them do this a lot, the double tap of the Y thing. That is because they're warming up to fast reload. And if you tap Y or double tap Y, you do come out of your um, zooming. So that is a way to unzoom your sniper rifle. And so you can see how this would be one kill, double kill, triple kill, overkill, then you reload, fast reload the weapon, kill tacular. You see? So that's how you chain together those multi kills more quickly because you only have 4.5 seconds in Halo 4 to get that next kill to make it part of that multi kill. So I hope this video helped you guys out. And like the video, subscribe, it helps me out a lot, it helps other people to find the video as well, and um, helps them to understand these tips and tricks more in depth as well. Um, as well, as well, as well, I might as well in this video. So I'll see you on the next capture or whatever I end up recording. Peace, guys. So guys, at the end of this video, I wanted to apologize because one of the Covenant weapons actually can be fast reloaded. The concussion rifle that I'm holding right now it's just like the saw. It has the same reload animation no matter how much of the clip you expend. If you expend the entire clip, it's the exact same reload animation as when you expend only part of the clip. But you can see how you cock back the weapon at the very end there. That means you can double tap Y as soon as your bullets pop up blue again to fast reload the concussion rifle. I'm sorry for that mistake, and um, I hope you enjoyed the video. 
Um, I hope I'm not missing any of the other weapons that you can fast reload. I did try them out all extensively after I made that mistake. I don't think there's any more that you can fast reload. But anyway, I think, I think that's it. I know you're watching me, Mongoose. Don't think I do. I know it. I know it.